Hey, Math 20-2s. Today we're going to look at linear scale factors and area. So we've done linear scale factors already with perimeter. Now we're going to compare it to area. So how linear scale factors compare with area. Investigating the relationship between linear scale factor and area scale factor. A. Complete the following table to investigate this relationship. The first one has been done for us. So original dimensions of a rectangle are 3 by 5. The original area, remember, area of a rectangle is length times width. So 3 times 5 is 15 square centimeters. The linear scale factor applied is 2. So the new dimensions of the rectangle are 3 times 2, which is 6, by 5 times 2, which is 10. The new area, which is length times width, would be 6 times 10, or 60. So to find out our area scale factor, we take the new area, 60, divided by the old or original, which was 15, and we go 60 divided by 15 is 4 over 1, or we have an area scale factor of 4. Let's do rectangle B together. The original dimensions of rectangle B are 9 by 6. So my original area should be 9 times 6, or 54 square centimeters. I'm applying a scale factor of 1 third. So 1 third of 9 is 3, and 1 third of 6 is 2. So my new dimensions for the rectangle is 3 by 2. That gives me an area of 3 times 2, or 6 square centimeters. And now I just complete the last column. The new area was 6 over the old area, or original area, which was 54. So 6 over 54 is the same as 1 over 9. That would be my area scale factor. All right, you guys complete rows C and D. Pause this recording. Do that. And then restart it when you're finished and see if you get the same thing I've got. All right, for rectangle C, the area would be 4 times 8 or 32 square centimeters. Do a scale factor of 3 halves. 4 times 3 halves is 6. 8 times 3 halves is 12. The new area is 72. So 72 over 32 in lowest terms would be 9 quarters. So you could divide both those by 8. Rectangle D, area is 3 times 12 or 36 square centimeters. Scale factor of 2 thirds. 2 thirds of 3 is 2. 2 thirds of 12 is 8. 2 times 8 gives us an area of 16. New area is 16 over 36. Divide them both by 4, and you get 4 ninths. All right, so part B then. Compare the linear scale factors to the area scale factors in chart A. So linear scale factors I've got highlighted in blue. Area scale factors, well, how does 1 third compare to 1 ninth? How does 3 halves compare to 9 quarters? How does 2 thirds compare to 4 ninths? How does 2 compare to 4? All right. So what is the comparison here? Complete. Area scale factor is equal to 4 equals linear scale factor 2. Well, 4 doesn't equal 2, and 1 ninth doesn't equal a third, and 9 quarters doesn't equal 3 halves. So what do I have to do this equation right here to make it true? Area scale factor should equal linear scale factor squared. So I take my linear scale factor, 2 and square it. 2 squared is 4. Great. 1 third squared is 1 ninth. 3 halves squared is 9 quarters. And 2 thirds squared is 4 ninths. So huge, huge statement right there. Area scale factor equals linear scale factor squared. And that chart demonstrates it very nicely. So let's do example 1. Maggie has scanned an 8 by 10 photograph for her computer. A, Maggie would like to increase the size of the area by, or the size of the area by 44%. Determine the area scale factor and the linear scale factor. Well, if I'm going to increase by 44%, that means I'm starting with 100%, and I'm increasing at 44%. So that means I've got an er, increase or an enlargement of 144%. All right, so what is that as a real number? That would be our area scale factor. So the area scale factor would be 144%, or we could say as a real number, 1.44. Well, if I want to do the linear scale factor then, 
according to what we wrote up above that's highlighted in red, if I square the linear scale factor, I get the area scale factor. Or if I want to figure out what the linear scale factor is, given the area scale factor, I should take the square root of that. So the square root of 1.44 is actually 1.2. So there's our linear scale factor. Explain why these scale factors are different. Well, basically what the uh, red rectangle up above says, right? The area scale factor is the linear scale factor squared. So they're not equal. All right, that's why they're different. We just proved that from up above. Determine the dimensions of the enlarged photograph. Great. So the original dimensions were 8 by 10. Those are linear dimensions. We now have a linear scale factor of 1.2. So we take our dimension of 8 inches and multiply it by our linear scale factor of 1.2. So the new width should be 8 times 1.2 is 9.6 inches. And the length should be 10 times 1.2, or 12 inches. So the new dimensions are 10 by 12. Oh, sorry, 9.6 by 12. 9.6 inches by 12 inches are the new dimensions once I've applied the linear scale factor. Uh, D. The enlarged photograph will be printed at a digital print shop on a color printer. Assuming the white areas of the photograph will also use ink, calculate the area the printer must cover by the following two methods. Use the dimensions of the enlargement. Well, area is length times width. We've got the enlargement measurements 9.6 by 12. So 9.6 times 12 is 115.2 square inches. Use the original area and the area scale factor. All right. So the original area would have been length times width 8 by 10, which would have been 80 inches squared. And then I want to use the area scale factor, so the new area. should have been 80 inches squared multiplied by 1.44. That was our area scale factor. So you try that, 80 times 1.44, you also get 115.2 square inches. So it doesn't matter which way you choose to do that one, you should get the same final area. All right. Part E. Maggie must also produce a print whose area will be reduced by 25%. Determine the dimensions of the print to the nearest hundredth of an inch. All right, so we're reducing 25%. So last time we started with 100% and we added 44. Now we're going to minus 25%. So 100 minus 25 is 75% is how much we're keeping. All right, as a real number. That's 0 0.75. So there is our area scale factor. So we can write that down. The area scale factor is 0 0.75. Determine the dimensions. That's a linear measurement. Length and width are linear. They're not an area measurement. So determine the dimensions of the print to the nearest hundredth of an inch. So I know the area scale factor is 0 0.5. I can figure out my linear scale factor. All right. So to find the linear scale factor, we should take the square root of 0 0.75 because linear scale factor squared is area scale factor. So the square root of 0 0.75, well, maybe we'll just leave that as it is. We'll just use that value a little more accurate. So let's find the dimensions now. All right. So the original dimension was 8 inches. Multiply that by the linear scale factor. The square root of 0 0.75. And we get our new width. So you guys could do that on your calculators. 8 times the square root of 0 0.75. And it wants it to the nearest 
hundredth of an inch surrounded two decimal places. That should be approximately 6.93. And do the same thing for the length, which started at 10 inches. Multiply by the linear scale factor. And again, round the nearest hundredth or two decimal places. And we should get 8.66. All right. So what are the dimensions? Well, the new dimensions. are 6.93 inches by 8.66 inches. Right. Excellent. Let's do example two. Marco, owner of Mapit Inc., has produced a map of Canada with his employees. A says the area of the province of Alberta is approximately 661850 square kilometers. On Marco's map, the area of Alberta is represented as 264.74 square centimeters. The scale of the map, which is a linear scale factor, can be written in the form of 1 to x. Calculate the value of x to the nearest whole number. Well, we're not given any linear measurements on the map. We're given area measurements. The area of the province versus the area of the map. So we can use that to come up with an area scale factor. All right, so the area scale factor should be um, two, I'll write that down. Area scale factor should be 264.74 centimeters squared over 661850 kilometers squared. All right, so let's just simplify this. Um, Let's divide both these by 264.74. That should get us down to one square centimeter. And approximately 661850 divided by 264.74, that's about 2,500 square kilometers. So what does that tell us? It tells us that one square centimeter represents 2,500 square kilometers. So we've got our area scale factor. How do I figure out the linear scale factor then? Well, to find the linear scale factor, we have to take the square root of both these things. All right. So the square root of one centimeter squared is one centimeter, and that represents the square root of 2,500 2, kilometers squared. So you take the square root of 2,500 and you get 50 kilometers. So there is the linear scale factor. All right. So we figure out the linear scale factor. One centimeter represents 50 kilometers. Calculate the value of x to the nearest whole number. Well, we want this written as a ratio. So if one centimeter represents 50 kilometers, 50 kilometers is how many centimeters? All right. Now, maybe you can't do that one just quickly in your mind, or you haven't got that line chart. So we could use unit analysis here. 50 kilometers over one. Multiply that by, we know that uh, one kilometer is a thousand meters and maybe we know that one meter is a hundred centimeters all right so now the units reduce we get rid of the kilometers we get rid of the meters the only unit we're left is centimeters that's what we want so you multiply 50 by a thousand and by a hundred so we get 50 times a thousand times a hundred so that's uh, 5 million centimeters. All right. So what's the value of x? Uh, x in this ratio should be 5 million.
part B then. On the same map, the area of the province of British Columbia is represented as 376.839 square centimeters. Determine the actual area of British Columbia to the nearest 100 square kilometers. So now we're talking about area, right? Area in the map, determine the actual area. Right, so we've got our area scale factor. We know that area scale factor is one centimeter squared is the same as 2,500 kilometers squared. All right, so we've got that scale factor for the area measurement from up above. Well, I'm going to use a proportional reasoning then, so I can use that scale factor, and I'm given the uh, measurement on the map of British Columbia. So that goes in my numerator, 376.839 square centimeters, that's going to equal how many square kilometers, all right? So let's just calculate our work. Cross multiply, one centimeter squared times x would equal 376.839 square centimeters times 2,500 square kilometers, and you divide both sides by centimeters squared. And we get x should equal approximately 942.097 0.5. Was it to the nearest 100 square kilometers? So, the area of British Columbia is approximately 942. The nearest 100 kilometers, that would round up to 100 kilometers squared. All right. Beautiful. You guys have your assignment. You got the work you should do. Where you go.